What's going on guys? Welcome to Crossco Ranch. My name is Robert if you're new here. So today we're we are going to be getting the seeds in the ground. Um, it's been a long awaited time. I uh, finally have time to get the seeds in the ground. So we have the uh, John Deere behind us. Uh, my godfather was nice enough to lend me the tractor so I can get all the seeds in the ground and plow what I need to plow. Um, so without further ado guys, we're going to get into it. Almost done, guys. Alright guys, so you may be wondering why I'm using the box instead of like uh, some disc or actual plows. I don't have those attachments and my godfather does not have those attachments either. So that's why I am using that box. But it seems to be working out pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll probably just go over it once or twice and uh, it should do the job. So I'm going to do this food plot. I'm going to do another food plot and another one. So I'm going to do three today uh, and try to get the seed seeded. As you can tell, it is pretty cloudy and uh, uh, my screen's getting a little bit wet. There's a little bit of uh, raindrops already starting to fall, so we're going to try to get as much done before the rain comes. It's a good day to plant, um, so we're going to try to get some in there. I'm actually going to try to throw some watermelon and some corn seeds, um, mainly for me. Hopefully the deer won't find them. They probably will, but it cost me 25 cents for a little pack or 50 cents, something like that. So I thought I'd give it a shot anyway. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to hop back on the tractor. I'm not going to record all this because um, it's a little time consuming, but I'll show you once it's all done. Alright guys, so it's starting to uh, drizzle a little bit heavier now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what the uh, box blade can do. If you don't have a plow, if you don't have a disc or anything like that, you can use a box blade. Just extend down the... Uh, uh, the cutting blades down and you can you can actually till pretty well um, that side didn't come out as good but it is tilled up it's just there's a lot of dead uh, grass on top that I did not take out um, but this this way I use the bucket basically scrape the entire bottom of the uh, dirt put all the all the brush and everything in a little pile and then I went with the box blade and that turned out actually way better um, I'll flip around and show you what I did alright guys so this is all done with the box blade what I did is I used the bucket and cut all the grass and everything I could um, down. And uh, as you can tell, I put all the debris and grass in that pile right there. And that's what it looks like was just the box blade tilling up the ground and cutting everything with the bucket. I'm going to walk over here and show you what it looks like if I don't use the bucket to clear out first. That's what it looks like if you don't clear out with the bucket first, which isn't bad. It's still going to do just fine. 
Um, I'm not going to clear it out with the bucket now just because um, I'm probably going to pick up a lot of dirt because it's already picked up. So I'm going to leave it like that. The seeds should still do fine. But just wanted to show you the difference without using the bucket first and then with using the bucket first. All right, guys, like always, I forgot my spreader today, so I'm just going to be hand spreading it um, by hand, which sucks, but you got to do with what you got to do. This is going to be a little bit more time consuming, but it'll still get the job done. What I just threw right now was deer radish. Um, this stuff grew pretty good in black clay. Um, right now it's a little bit more of the red clay in this area. So I'm going to see how it does in the red clay versus the black clay from uh, last year. The other one I'm going to be throwing down is called Big Time Buck Brunch. My first time using this one, we're going to see how it does. Alrighty guys, so the next one I'm going to put on here, so I'm basically overseeding to try to cover everything up until December. That's the hope. This is called Spring Protein Peas. These have done very, very, very well last year. So I'm hoping they do very well this year as well. Um, they, they grew awesome. So I'm hoping, I um, have high hopes for these guys. These basically look exactly like peas. I'll show you what they look like here. This is what they look like. Have high, high hopes for these. I just raised the blades on the uh, the box blade and we're going to see if we can cover the dirt with using that box blade. Alright guys, so it ended up working. The box blade was able to cover up the seeds. I'll flip the camera around so you can see what it looks like. This is what it looks like after the seeds have been covered with dirt. Um, I think it came out pretty damn good for only using the box blade. Alright guys, so here's the other food plot. I just got it all plowed up. Now I'm going to throw the seeds and then I'll cover it up again with the box blade. Alrighty guys, so that's going to wrap it up for us today. Uh, we got all the seeds planted. Um, I'll probably wait till March to start planting the Milo and sunflowers for dove season um, this year. Um, but I just want to thank y'all for sticking around and uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. If y'all did, definitely consider subscribing and uh, stay tuned for seeing the results of the food plot. Without further ado guys, I do appreciate it and like always, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. We'll catch you later.